the 2002 Grand Final in the first ruck, it's McKee, Collingwood and Keating for the Brisbane Lions. Down it goes, Keating got first fist. Here's a chance now for Burns, he's dispossessed. Pike's got it for Brisbane. A scrubby old kick to the full forward area. Lynch overruns it, here's a chance for Akamatis. Can't get boot to ball. Headlands in there. Collingwood, out of trouble momentarily. Will have a throw in. Akamatis must have thought. So Lecuria to the wing, looking for Rocker. He uses his bulk well. When we get used to this this afternoon, it's going to be pretty scrappy. A great quick kick out of the pack. Here's a chance now for Tarrant. He's found some space. Tarrant on the left. He goes short, looking for Davis on the half volley. Trumps it nicely. Back to Tarrant in the pocket. Tarrant squares it up. The kick's poor. Lepich, big collision. Play on. Johnson ducked the head and did it beautifully. And we'll have a throw in. She, Johnson and Tarrant at that contest. And it was Chris Johnson who went hard all the way. Just uh, as we watch this again, a replay. Interesting matchup. Des Headland's being run with by Steinford for the first time in his career. Interesting. Fraser for the first goal. No. Go behind. So the Magpies are in front in the grand final. Yes, yes. And also, we mentioned Powell. So Johnson brings it back into play. Finds Pike. Hendon on the boundary tackle. Got to be a free kick. It is. It's going to be taken by Batheris. He had prior opportunity. He didn't get rid of the ball. As long as the umpires are consistent, everyone's happy. He goes short to Freeborn. Freeborn, the big winder from 52 metres out. And we saw Preston Giacomo, what a season he's had this year for the Magpies. Been terrific in this so-called no-name defence. Daryl White looking for an outlet. Black always seems to find one. White emerges with it. Loose man, he's lapping. Very clever. Akamanis, will he be the man to kick the first goal? No! He got the rebound off the post. Scores are level. Two more. Davis kicks poor. Mark by Ashcroft. Turnover. Black. Got Lappin in support. Lappin now goes long. Brown from the side was wide. Oh. Right. Brilliant mark from yeah. the Mercurial Darrell White. He'll try to get it to lean the percentages. Yeah, it's a great mark by Darrell White. He comes third deep there, juggles it a couple of times. But really, Lynch in the central corridor would have been the better option. And now Brisbane switch and Hart's got the footy. Well, they're so good at switching, aren't they? I wonder if they're going to be able to do it successfully today or not in these conditions. Jonathan Brown, we saw what an impact he had last year. Will he be able to handle these conditions? I guess he's got the strong body for it. Hart, Voss, Lappin. The line's collaborating through the middle. Lepic eventually gets in the end and rams it forward. Magpies holding their ground pretty well. Pressure now on Big Steve McKee. Bends down well, doesn't dispose of it well. Akamanis has been threatening also so far. Out to Lynch. Will this be the first goal? No. Gee, Big Steve McKee filling the hole back there. He had the ball on Michael his into his back. Got everything here at the moment. It's raining and we've got blue sky. Collingwood go to the 50. Fraser, Buckley. Buckley under the left boot. He'll try and square it up. It's a beauty. His opponents didn't respect him. Chris Johnson has been playing 15, 25, 30 metres off him. Can Rupert Batheris break the ice? It's three behinds apiece. 17 and a half minutes in the first quarter of the grand final. Interesting body language, Adelaide Matthews. The arms were crossed. And the Magpies, so far, well, they've broken even at the very least. Voss oh, goes to ground. Voss has no hurt kick. himself. Voss down. Magpies going into attack. Tarrant versus Lepich. Burns. More lines than Magpies. McDonald put the pressure on. But there is Voss still in the hands of the trainers. Well, Michael Voss went in like a steam train. He really did try to put uh, heaps of physical pressure on the opposition. We'll have a look at it here. He goes for Clement. And he's hurt himself in the process. He's going to push deep into the forward line now. So, the Lions trying to get out of defence. Lappin, he had no supporting cast at all. No one to give it off to. The Magpies. Bodies, arms everywhere. And the shoulder's gone. Wonder how Jamie Charman feels watching on. Magpies, still an attack. 
Jonathan Brown, they're under siege at the moment, the Lions. Three points all. Now, what are the problems we've now got? Let this unfold here, boys. Chips all locked up. They've got a ball up 45 with, uh, out Keating. from Collingwood's yeah. goal. He hasn't played a lot of footy. Yeah. They've only got the one ruckman. They only played 50% of the time. Daryl White might have to do some yep. ruck work, Malcolm. It really throws their plans completely out of the window. Rocker got the tap, but it was shot by Black. Great tackle. Umpire says play on. A lot of leniency today in the slippery conditions. It was a great tackle. I would have thought that tackle could have been rewarded. We might be able to see it again, but you'll give us the tackle count, Malcolm. Collingwood are absolutely fantastic. Have a look at this tackle. And Burns locks away the arm. The kick to Collingwood. And it's going to be taken by McKee. McKee looking for Fraser. Spoiled by Lepic. Fraser importantly kept his feet. Around the corner was clever. Very clever to Lecuria. Too far out to score. He's about 65 out from goal, Paul Lecuria. Off the ball, the Lions play goes down. Umpire lets it go, Rocker. Defenders very playing tough. enough respect to their opponents. 34 goals this season in his 23 games, Anthony Rocker. Kicked three last time these teams played in round eight from 51 metres. It's a thumping kick. It's coming back! Rockers kick the first of the game! Well, the lead-up to that certainly was not a peer to be. And there's that magnificent kick. He certainly can kick the footy. And first goal. Well, we thought it would be so important, and look at the response from 70. Different kind of goal that time, but perhaps even more important to the Magpies' chances in 2002. And they're going forward again. They've got the momentum. Freeborn, Josh Fraser, can he get there? Oh, carry shown by Luke Power. Mark Gore, free kick. Call it what you like. And Hedlund has taken the mark. He's 50 metres out, but the angle's tough. Des Hedlund wastes no time. Kicks it to the tip of the goal square. Lynch from the side, no mark. Front and centre. McRae, that was clever to Hart. Hart a left foot snap. Brisbane have got there first. Well, suddenly the outlook is a little brighter, both weather-wise and particularly on the scoreboard for the Lions, who are now in front. And suddenly a bit of momentum. Suddenly some run out of the middle. Brad Scott up to Lynch. Such a danger man. Wakeman. He kept him to just one goal back in round eight. And at the moment, he's got his measure and he's got him in trouble, Alistair Lynch. He's watching grab here. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty solid, wasn't he? He's got a couple of options. One of them, Michael Voss. He can go short away to the right. Magpies have got good numbers back. Headlands that. Voss has gone for a tour. And it's not a good result. Lynch, though, takes the grab. No free kick. Free kick. Collingwood free kick. And Alistair Lynch. Yeah, won't be happy. Disbelief for Alistair Lynch as he goes through the incident with the umpire. Ooh, that was yeah. it. There's the payback. That, that was the payback. That was the payback. Bit of a chop to the throat. Got to be a bit more safe. He spiked it away. Burns to the middle. Important contest here. Who's going to win it? Chance for the Lions if he can break clear. Johnson. High ball. Again, up towards Lynch, Wakelin getting fist to the ball when he needs to. He's been one of the heroes so far. Great tackle from Voss. The spillage, the spillage went to Simon Black, but the Brownlow medalist couldn't kick a goal. And opportunities have gone to miss so far for the Lions up forward. The margin is three points. Yes. It's two on two contest. And was that a free kick? No, it wasn't. Thought it could have been a free to Buckley. Fierce tackling by Michael Voss. Created the spillage. McRae had a crack. Headland had a go. Johnson. Buckley emerges. And the Magpies are away. Freeborn. Sure hands and good skills required through the middle. Loney. Go, they tell him. He does out wide. He was controlled, though, in his aggression. Got it to Didac. Nick Davis leads in close. Long target is Josh Fraser. Can he stand up and take a mark? He can. the 15 he has and he did yes. well there Josh Fraser stood his ground now the Magpies want to be careful here they yeah. will be back in front got a feeling uh, Chris Johnson's hurt himself or is it Mel Michael no Chris Johnson you're right Rob Chris Johnson is Fraser I'll just be ramming it through straight away 
A couple of weeks ago, he was horribly out of form. Now, Josh Fraser puts Collingwood back in front in the grand final. Yes, and really, that was against the run of play. Brisbane dominating. But uh, that quick movement, Buckley being prepared to be played out of the back line was good so, with the recovery. Players just changing opponents here, just for a brief period. So the margin, two points. McKee doing the work, rucking in the roving. Buckley starting to find the footy to the wing. Davis one on one with Ascroft. Davis just shrugs off the tackle. Had a quick glance. Fraser, Rocker, Lockyer at the back. Fraser! Almost, it fell for him. It's going to be hard from here, though. Michael is stupid against the line. Free kick, Brisbane ball. It's a Brisbane ball for the dump. No, it's a Collingwood ball. It's a Collingwood ball. Downfield free. Against Brad Scott. And the umpire explaining it to Burns. He would back him from 70 metres out from this angle. But from 35, who knows? He does. This is what happened. We'll have a look at it. Nick Davis breaks away. And Brad Scott drags him into the ground. I reckon it's a tough call. That's the way that it's gone. And Big Anthony finishes off. A little bit underdone. Playing across half back instead of the middle. Kick off the ground by Burns. Akamanis attacks it. Tripped over his own feet, I reckon. Got caught high, umpire said play on Akamatis, did well on the clinches to get it to Johnson. His kick's pretty ordinary to Voss, oh. Burns lines him up and goes bang. 50 metres out, beautiful pick up by Voss to Black, should have a shot. Great play Brisbane. Just when they were looking like in a little bit of trouble, Malcolm and Robert, they found something. And you guess who did it too, Michael Voss. And here it is down. Shit. That is a high knock. That is a heavy one. Look at him. Straight up and set up the goal. Well, so he escaped there, didn't he? And uh, he kept the ball alive. And in the end, a so goal to Brisbane. Great game for Collingwood, the youngster. Steinford dishes to his skipper. Buckley, touch number 13. And again, it's a superb kick to half forward. Well, we've just seen Buckley double up, get the footy, and hit Burns with a 50-metre pass that time. Burns, he's got Lockyer on, he's found some space. Michael just gave him too much space. I don't know if it was his man or not. But he just signed off him. What a start if he can nail a goal. He's kicked 16 goals, 15 this season. In he comes, a 22-year-old. From 45 metres out. Still the arms across for Lee Matthews. His Lions behind again by five. The Magpies' efficiency up forward has kept them in front so far. Suddenly though the defence under pressure. Lap and streaming down the ground. Big opportunity here and he's missed again. And the Lions are not themselves today, particularly in front of goal. Josh Fraser in the ruck for the Magpies. Two goals, 12. Yeah, and uh, Collingwood in front. This is running to script. Burns, the lead's on from Lockyer, Headland low, got it there, and he took the mark, so he puts Brisbane back inside the 50, it dropped a bit short, Brown, and got caught very high, that's got to be 50, advantage paid, it's a goal. And that was uh, a very high tackle on Brown, let's see if he can regain his feet. We've just got to make sure we hit targets. So after all the drama of the first half, the Lions are in front, all bit by just two. Lappin as they surge forward again. McRae versus Clement. Voss just waiting, and the ball fell for him. Lynch has got Cleo again this one. And the Lions getting away just before half time. Interesting, the two centre bounces. Well, remember last year, Essendon were in front. They looked like they were maybe going to win. Alistair Lynch just before half time kicked a crucial goal. Maybe. He's done it again. Alistair Lynch, finally, 
gets a goal, and the Lions suddenly lead by eight. Yes, they're a great goal kicker inside in time on, and we've seen that over the journey that uh, sides that can continually pressure late in the quarter can kick goals. Is that and, worth uh, the free kick, no, though, Robert? That's absolute rubbish. Fair dinkum. So Jared Malloy slews off the side of the boot. Noddy got caught a bit high. Managed to fist it away. Here's a chance. Scotland had it smothered, and the Lions clear. Lost opportunity for the Magpies. Mel Michael smother, magnificent. Power, twisting and turning. Siren, what a first half at the MCG. Uh, have the Brisbane players having a real go at Malloy. Kicks today, hasn't there? We touched on it earlier. 15 to Collingwood, 12 to the Lions. Fraser. Davis coming through. Just couldn't get boot to ball. Ackermanis slap. And oh, he left it behind. Rocker had his one little moment there. Couldn't take it. Fraser also dispossessed. In free kick. Another cutting of free kick. They, it's going to be a goal, you would think. They have paid that one three or four times today. The tackle from behind and the drive into the ground. We see Josh Fraser pick it up. Lepich over the top. Oh, I reckon that's a free kick. He's into his back. And they have been Yes, he lunged from a long way out. Well, this crucial 10-minute stage. Josh Fraser's already kicked one from the square. Now he's kicked another. The Magpies get the first one. And you can see Ekamanis talking to Lecuria. Margins two points in favour of the Brisbane Lions. Keating again. Dominating the ruck, the Lions work it forward. Labyrinth from 65, goes into the goal square. Lynch! Typical yeah. Brisbane play. <laughs> Typical. And one of the first times today that the ball's actually gone in the centre of the goal square. I mean, there's been a lot of them missed that area, and that's where Alistair Lynch does his best work. And this is pretty simple, isn't it? Tap it down to the rover and then kick it at the full forward and the full forward goes back and kick the goal. There's a big hit by Keating yeah. and a little subtle deflection by Voss across to Lapham. So Lynch will get his second. The Lions again lead by eight. Two goals, two so far this afternoon for Alistair Lynch. Brisbane five. So Brisbane eight and the clearances to two and you wonder, Malcolm, how long they can hang on the Magpies if the dominance continues out of the middle. That'll help. And Anthony Rocker called in to do the ruck work because McKee just cannot match it as far as the centre bounce work goes against Keating. So the margin back to eight. Lecuria gets the Magpies going. Rocker, it might fall for him. Yes! He just manoeuvred himself into position. And he has got a chance. Two goals already on the board. One goal to each team so far since halftime. A big moment in the match. A big moment. And Anthony Rocker is up to it. He's kicked the goal. There's two points in it again. Two points in it. Well, we yes, see Lecuria and he just thumps it long forward. And coming in from the side, big Anthony. And three goals in the first five minutes of this third quarter. Well, what they're doing here, Robert, is... Rocker's doing the ruck work, McKee's a kick behind the game, Rocker will run forward and trying to be picked up by Lippi. He can and he does it well, Tolonio, all bounced off the chest, Akamatis, handballs back into open, oh. territory. Freeborn cleans up McRae, very fairly I might add. Players. And listen to the Magpie fans out there. Shit, that's a big hit. Freeborn on McRae, just shows the courage of McRae coming back. Yeah, eyes at the, the ball. moment, doesn't it? Oh, this has been a hard 10 minutes. McKee, Maloney, breaking clear, backs himself. A daring run from young Ryan Loney, and he delivers! Tarkin Lockyer not quite within range. Carry the ball. He backs himself. Well, maybe Lockyer will do the same. Anthony Rocker-esque. Not quite. Behind. So that's why they've brought White on at the 11-minute mark. Johnson, as the sun begins to shine at the MCG, kicks it straight to Lockyer, to Buckley, who unloads from 55 metres out! Buckley's gone! Nathan Buckley has put Collingwood in front by five points. 12 minutes gone, third-term grand final. 
there is the unlikely Ruckman, nodding to the line. Chris Scott, not sure, hesitation, had to kick quickly. Lots of one-on-one -on -one contest. Brown couldn't take the mark. Brad Scott with the spillage, has a little bit of time. Watch out! He didn't have much time. Gone. What a tackle from Rupert Matheris. 11 tackles to four quarter. How will Lee Matthews be feeling right now? Well, at some stage or other, he'll make a decision on this as we watch that holding the ball. Justin Lepich is a guy that can go forward and kick a goal. Yeah, not happy with each other. These two, it's on in the middle of the ground. Ball's out of bounds, and these two players, Lucuria no doubt got the job in the third quarter to ruffle the feathers of Akamanis, being successful at this stage. Another throw in, half forward it's flank. three on two. They're just getting numbers across all the time, Collingwood. They have been superb. White, with a little cameo effort there. Akamanis waits down. Lynch, he's got it! How did he get it? Despite the efforts of Wakeland, Alistair Lynch, the strong and man. the weight of the pack on him as Jeez. he came crunching down. Couldn't do anything more, Wakeland, could he? No, he just got that big body in front, He's Alistair put the Lynch. Lines back in front. And also, it's a little counterpunch to the Magpies. Alistair Lynch, the task, you wouldn't think be that difficult. He's a great goal kicker. He's been in career best form, and he's put the Lions back in front, and his teammates come from everywhere. Gee, importantly, um, I mean, we talk about that first 10 minutes. It's gone on a fair while now, Robert, and uh, it is a game, isn't it? Uh, I can't remember a grand final. There's been a few that have actually been nip and tuck with teams changing leads and losing it back and changing leads again. It's gone on third quarter. Brisbane lead Collingwood by one point. This is when the Lions are at their most dangerous in red time, but Rocker puts the Magpies back inside. 50! Three marks. Hasn't bothered the scorers so far this afternoon. Directly in front, kicking from 45 metres out. It's a close touch. call. It's touched. Touch says the umpire off the boot. Scores level at the MCG. 50 apiece. 23 and a half gone in the third term. And Chris Scott screaming at the umpire that he touched it. And that's a bad mistake by Tim. Here's Rocker. Keating over the top. Voss. It's just been a wonderful shootout, hasn't it, between the leaders. Buckley and Voss. And Buckley is probably leading the leadership stakes at this stage, certainly in terms of possessions. But scores are level as O'Bree surging. And Didak popping up. Fraser's down in the goal square, but it's Rocker again. Anthony Rocker. And Lepic Johnson zoning off, Lepic zoning off. Well, remember that big kick he had back against Port Adelaide after the siren. Couldn't do it that day. He's kicked three straight today. You talk about the X Factor in a grand final. Anthony Rocker is in. Four goals. Collingwood lead by one goal. 26 minutes gone. Norm Smith medalist, 14 possessions. Sharing it with Ashcroft, another veteran of this Lions team. Through the middle, he's found a bit of a gap. Johnson's run on. Leon Davis just asking the question as to where he should be standing. They've managed to open up a bit. Back to Scott, guiding the pass. Brown coming out of the square. Maybe that's a better tactic for him against Presta Giacomo. Seven points. We started the day in rain. There was forecast of hail. The lights are on, but it's sunny all of a sudden at the MCG. And the Magpies lead by seven. Last year he was so cool and calm at slotting goals like this. And Jonathan Brown has shown he is still up to it. It's a one-point ball game again. Game on at the MCG. In this quarter that uh, Brisbane have found the foot skills perfectly. And a wonderful kick from Jonathan Brown. I don't think we all believed it before today, did we? But we better believe it now. Well, I'm getting in very early. Could we be back here next well, week? <laughs> you have gone early. <laughs> Gee, Anthony's been good at those centre bounces. Hart puts Brisbane forward once again. Johnson against Akamanis. Akamanis won the footy. Got it to Voss. Here we go. Voss from 55. Seven, less than a minute left in the third.
third turn. And this is exactly what we saw in that second quarter with only a few minutes left on the clock. Brisbane able to get a couple of goals through. Sign of a great side. Akamanis, who's been out of four, got that handball across to Michael Voss. He's outside 50. No hesitation in having a shot. Could have dished off a handball. He's the captain. He wanted to show everybody how to do it. And he has nailed it. And Brisbane back in front. Leon Davis still without a stat. I wonder if they'll come on and play a part in this last quarter. Lions looking dangerous. Leach. Wakeland again saves the day. Now, what will he do? Will he go for the line? He was always going to try and tailor the kick for the boundary line. And O'Brien helps him. It's over and out. But will he save the day? Up it goes. Keating slaps it inside 50. Johnson. Almost a throw, but he got it to Black. Black's going to wobble one kick. through. Free, free kick. kick for a throw. Collingwood, Collingwood free kick. Free ball in the back pocket. I thought it was a throw from power. I thought he got away with it, but the umpire came in and quickly blew the whistle. Here's a look at that decision from before. Oh. Wow. Gee. I think the umpire's right. Probably slightly in their attacking territory. They trail the lines by four points. Yes, and good decision making now. Absolutely paramount. Umpire throwing it up. Good decision making there from Fraser. Loney, desperate lunge. Couldn't stop Rocker. Anthony Rocker, he's got a lucky break in this ball. He'll cover the distance, no worries about that. Anthony Rocker to put Collingwood back in front of the MCG. Anthony Rocker kicks it behind. There's only about 30,000 Collingwood people behind the goal trying to convince the goal umpire. Well, well, Rocker liked it. He, he liked it a lot. He can't believe it. Only one behind kicked in the last quarter, and that's from Collingwood, has reduced the margin from four to three. Ten minutes gone in this last term. Oh. Johnson runs his full measure. The umpire had the whistle to the mouth. Fraser couldn't mark it, but he managed to guide it in front. Betheris, and now Scotland. The Magpies are running. If it bounces for Lecuria, he did well. Prestigiacoma had to release it. Chris Tarrant has really lifted to try and help out his mate Rocker. Gets it going again. Davis beats Scotland. O'Brien, Voss. Scotland again off the left boot into the square from the side. Fraser! Joshua Fraser has taken the mark at the 10 minute mark of the last quarter. The number one draft pick. Featured in a lot of play there. He's got the fresh legs. He's running with Michael Voss. Josh Fraser pretty close to the man on the mark, but he seizes the moment. The Magpies back in front. Collingwood are in front in the 2002 Grand Final in the last quarter. Oh, and what a good mark. Eyes on the ball, came back, and that's what you do in these situations. Courage, 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 and he finished off to perfection with the old checkside punt, Malcolm. And starting to rain yeah. here at the MCG. Yeah, lovely goal, lovely mark. Gee, what a game. McKee in for the bounce. Got the tap to Lecuria. Quick hands to Buckley. He's brave enough to have a bounce. He runs to 65. Bangs it long into the pocket. Tarrant in front. Johnson. Daryl White. It over the line. In fact, I think he's got it through from behind. Daryl White being moved to full back on Chris Tarrant. Tarrant getting away from Chris Scott early in this final quarter. And the long kick, you can see that. That's a free kick to Tarrant. He held him. Johnson. As Michael goes sideways to White. Well, they've wanted a night grand final. We've almost got one now. <laughs> it's dark. It's inside 50. The rain tumbling magnet. Very difficult for the players. The Magpies in front. Michael Voss, the captain, into the square. Can someone take a mark? You wouldn't think so in those conditions. Free, free kick. kick. Lions free kick. Yes. Alistair Lynch. He's been screaming for it all day. And finally the umpire's given it to him. He has given us everything. And you can see Lynch. <laughs> she, that is a lucky, lucky free kick. Yeah. There were five. But the ball will just be a little bit slippery. Alistair Lynch, though. He finished last year with the ball in his hand. When the siren went. And he's put the lines back in front. Yes, he has.
Angst for Eddie Maguire and the Magpie fans. Plenty of time to go. Let's have a look at this again. It's certainly an early hold there. Yeah. Look, there's an early hold, but there was... There was there quarter. Quarter. We're inside the second half of the last quarter. And the margin in this grand final is just two points. Nathan Buckley, possession number 30, onto the wing. Tarrant around the body, doesn't go anywhere. Commitment required. Bathyris was up to it. Scotland, they're running for him. Loney had to get back onto the left. He did well to release it. Burns into the centre. Can Lecuria get there? He can. Paul Lecuria. Sometimes the ball just doesn't carry, but I've seen him kick the ball long at times. He hasn't until now been a recognised goal kicker, Paul Lecuria. And once again, that guy had OK. Fraser couldn't perform the heroics that time. And the ball... You're all the more nervous as he comes in to have this kick now. So Lockyer, big kick. He's looking for McKee, but he's out number three to one. Keating. Voss trying to get it to Black. Keating at the bottom of the pack. Now McKee somehow shuttled it out to Burns. Here we go with the Magpies. Burns drills it long. It's inside 50. Rocket got both hands on it, but it's slippery at the moment. Hacked out of air. A bit fresh air by Michael towards the boundary line, and it's over the line for throw in. Mel Michael, magnificent. Was clever, wasn't it? Yeah, clever, clever percentage. Every play. possession, so crucial. Every free kick, even more so. We've got a crowd quarters 91,817. Lappin, deep. Inside attacking 50, Lynch couldn't take the chess mark. Johnson. Oh. Notting to Black. Burns the spoiler. Back to Notting. He's got some fresh legs. He uses them. He handballs towards Brown. Here's a chance for Ashcroft. Five minute warning. Five minutes of game time left. Buckley desperate slaps it out. Can Leon Davis pick it up? He's bowled over. Back to Brad Scott. Around the corner to the full forward area. Lynch can't manufacture a mark. Akamanis left foot snap. Akamanis has kicked a goal. Jason Akamanis has kicked a miraculous goal on the left. Wasn't that tough play all round and eventually it went forward. The contest from Lynch again, he's done it all day. The kick went right. Akamanis, who really can't kick on his right fit, right foot, has kicked it on his left. As we know, there's wonderful skills. He struggled, you would think, with a bit of injury, but able enough to put him that little bit further in front. Well... Akamanis, not 100% fit, Good but use. he has shown his quality today. Notting free. Oh, it's a poor kick, just to speak of Akamanis. Poor kick, Johnson rode the bump, got a free, free. advantage, taken by O'Brien. Will the umpire bring it back? No. Play on, hurried kick away, up to the wing. Tarrant, can he get oh, there? Oh, again. What a mark. I think he's cramped too. He is indestructible though, isn't he? Yeah, but I think as his leg hit the ground there, and this is how you do it, you just overstretch, and as his leg goes down, you yeah. see him grab his leg, he cramps. 25 disposals to Michael Voss. Well, there's still time for the Magpies. McKee, Black, got the hands loose as he does so well. Desperate lunge, this man again, Nathan Buckley. Beautifully dispossessed though by Brad Scott. Oh, Black, they were lightning hands. Voss still got some petrol left in the tank. Hedlund hasn't had a great day, but it'll be a great day for him if the Lions win. He missed out last year, of course. Freeborn just bombed away, and you can see the result. Chris Scott takes the mark. The Lions are set up again. Yep. They'll hold it up. He's had a good last quarter, Chris. They dare to dream today, the Magpies. They have had an almighty crack. Still there could be time. Burns. Power. Here's a go. Johnson with pace. Carrying it to half forward. Nick Davis. Fraser makes the lead. It's all over. The Brisbane Lions are premiers again. They have gone back to back in one of the most memorable grand finals in VFL. A magnificent grand final, Malcolm. Low scoring, hard hitting, players from every side, so every team gave it their all.
just I'm just thrilled with the way the two captains played. You couldn't have asked for any more. We see Lee Matthews going down on the ground. He'd be delighted.